This young man asked us to help him find his mother, whom he hasn't heard of in 17 years. Miraculously, we were able to find her working in the streets, and this is a long-awaited reunion. Good morning, Javier. You sent us a message, you contacted us, so your mother has no idea we're here. Look at her. We're going to surprise her, okay? Tell us, how are you feeling? I'm nervous. The truth is that I'm really embarrassed and 17 years ago, right? I became quite distant from my mother. When we crossed the border as immigrants to the other side, to the United States, there was a raid and unfortunately she couldn't cross. I did though, but it's 17 years since then. It was a challenge, really. It was a challenge to find your mother. You were telling me you had almost no information about her, more than a photograph, right? Do you still have it with you? Oh yeah, I do. It's when I was little. Let's see. Oh man, that's an amazing photo. 17 years, right? Yeah, 17 years. We used to live in Zacatecas, so the economy was really rough. You know, when we tried to work, it was not def not easy. We were looking for means, you know, to make it. Well, m my parents were, because I was little, and sadly, things happen in life that change you a hundred percent inside out and of course and when I was little my mom decided that we should cross the border because she was well she had some friends on the other side she had a job waiting for her but they were waiting for us where we were you know hiding before we crossed um, there was a raid man. And it was in that moment where she sent me with other people. Also, you were crossing illegally. Yeah. Well, it sounds really difficult. Yeah, well, it was really difficult. It was really dangerous. So after that, after all these years, well, I can imagine 17 years is a long time. It sounds like it's really difficult, really traumatic for you. How old are you? How old were you then? I was seven. Seven? Wow. What is the last memory that you have of your mother? Mm, I don't quite remember, you know. Um, I can remember a little of her physically and I mostly remember, well, her voice, right? Um, remembering her telling to us, calling to us every morning when breakfast was ready. So I hear her far away. I hadn't seen her in a long time, so... <laughs> Being able to remember her... I, mean, I, I didn't know how she was until now, so... You never lose faith, you know? To really find the treasure in your heart, so I'm really excited to reunite with her and hug her. Yeah, that's hope for you, man. She's right behind you, and what do you think she's going to say? I really don't know. I don't know if she remembers me. So you never talked to her afterwards? No. I guess she wasn't expecting to get apart from you. No, no, it was an accident. So it was a tragic accident. Yeah, it's definitely tragic. It breaks my heart to know that a woman such as her had to lose you. So, you're a citizen now, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm a citizen. Oh, so you're coming to get her, right? Yeah, well, I'm trying to make her dream come true, right? <laughs> Finally. Well, Javier, I congratulate you. Congratulations, I'm really impressed by that huge heart of yours, because you have never given up. It was quite tough finding her, you know? She was closer than what we believed, but um, it was rough. Um, it turns out that she's been working here for several, several years. She's been working here for a while. Um, we don't know a lot about her, but we know that she has been waiting for you. 
and uh, today we're gonna have that chance I can see it in your eyes I can see you're excited and my god <laughs> I'm so happy about this I'm so happy about this opportunity for us to, to see this moment and what are you doing over there right now what are you working in um, I sell burgers oh so you have your your business yeah that's my my food truck oh you got a food truck yeah so I'm really excited to see her and hug her you can't wait any longer right awesome can I can I have just one second to talk to her okay and then you can surprise her right cornbread cornbread hello ma'am how are you hi what are you selling gorditas cornbread how is it going today are you doing good mm, no it's been quite lazy today I see I saw that the border patrol was yelling at you no it's not really allowed but I'm just trying to make a living you know but okay well it's it's what the loss is right listen and if the business isn't doing good because of those reasons why are you still selling around here mm. Because I have a very deep and personal interest here. You've got an agenda being here, right? Look, what do you think if I buy all of the gorditas from you? What? You're gonna get them all, but I still have plenty of them. And But what if, like, if you buy them, what am I gonna sell then? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Don't worry, you'll have some money for today. Okay, well, yeah. And a little bit extra. Come on, so you can rest for a while. Mm, yeah, thank you. Come on, give them to me. I, I'm gonna keep this, okay? Put the money away, it's yours. Please put it away. What's your name? My name is Gloria. Gloria, nice to meet you. Look, we're researching, you know? We're trying to research about uh, immigrants. Right. And we're trying to make a special about people who you know, have an experience with migration in any way. So as you know, here in our bridge, in this bridge, there are a lot of people, right, who come from south and they're looking for a better opportunity, right, at life. Uh, do you know anyone? Now that you mention, I tried. I tried crossing the border a few years ago. I tried doing it, but it's a very sad story. It's very sad because well, I don't know if I can tell it, can I? Oh, you tried. It's, um, like a lot of people here, I tried finding a better life because it was just my son and I, he was seven years old and I tried crossing the border with him, you know, going to the United States so I could work and just give us a better life. But given certain circumstances, we were separated and I couldn't see my kid anymore. It's very sad for me. I even get a knot on my throat when I speak about it, but it's my memory, you know, and it's the purpose of me being here because I come here every day and I I stay here all day long in the hopes that my son will return. I don't know, I don't know how I will recognize him. I just think that in my heart and my mother's heart I will feel it. And let me show you what I have here inside here and near to my heart. I have this picture with me. Oh my. Look at that. <laughs> Listen. What a beautiful photograph. This is what I always carry with me and like I told you before I think that my my loving mother heart is gonna tell me when I see him I think it's gonna tell me that's him that's him So you're still hopeful of seeing him again? Yes, yes because you know without faith we cannot count on God and my faith is enormous how was this for you, the moment of your separation? 
If you don't mind me asking, of course. I don't want to bother you with my questions. Mm. Please. Sometimes, when we're trying to make things better, we make the wrong decisions. And that's how mistakes happen. So, I had to hire someone to take us on the border, you know. And when we were there, you know, trying to cross and everything, well, there was a raid. And, you know, out of desperation and I, because I couldn't find my kid, I had to, I had to let him go. I had to tell someone, please look after him. I'll be back. I'll come and get him. But time went by and I just never knew where he was. I never heard from him and my hope is that he he walks by and I just recognize him because we're connected on the heart that's that's just all I know I'm just relying on my maternal instinct and I'm really hoping that when I see him a heartbeat or something in my gut will tell me go hug him that's your son. You were waiting for him and here he is. I hope that's that's how it's gonna go. And I've been really praying to God that I have the time that I need to find him again. To hold him in my arms again because it's been too damn long. It's been too long and since the last time I saw him. And I know wherever he is, He's feeling the same, because we're connected on the heart. We were always united by that. And, you know, bridges and lands can separate us. Time, neither, no. I know that he's feeling what I'm feeling. I know that he feels my need to hold him, my love for him. Sometimes we say that the love is only on our hearts, but love is everywhere in us. And I just, I'm sure, I'm sure this is going to lead me in... I'm really sorry you had to lose him with him being so young and in such a circumstance. But let me tell you, I really admire you. I really do. I understand why you're working here now. But you know, he could be anywhere in the U.S. It's huge. Yeah, I know. But also... God's power is enormous, that's enormous too, and I know that he can put everything on our side and in our favor too, you know, because here was the last place where we saw each other, and I just know that he will return, I just know that, I know I'll have him back. You're a wonder of a woman, you know, God's times are perfect. Always, always. And life gives a lot of surprises sometimes. I'm really grateful for you sharing your story with us for this special that we're making today. I think you're one of the most heartbreaking and heartwarming stories that I've heard. I'm really moved by this. I'm broken by how he was ripped from you. But I'm really hopeful to see how you're so feel the faith I'll keep looking for him I'll keep waiting I'll just be here you know whatever whatever comes my way nobody can nothing can stop a mother's love right no sun no rain no, no wind it's gonna stop me nothing stops a mother nothing you're carrying each other inside yes that's right that's a beautiful photograph that's the only thing he has right no no address no no phone number nothing else nothing the only thing I have with me is the picture and that's why I keep it close to my heart. He has the same picture and I told him, I told him, don't lose that picture. That picture is gonna bring us together. I told him that if we were ever to be separated or whatever, that picture is gonna lead us together. Those were my words and I really hope he, hit, he kept it with him too. Sometimes, angels you know how they, they work for God and they guide us they are here for us and they support us they place their hand on our shoulders 
a hand on my shoulder. Javier, Javier, it's you. It's really you. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Mom? Oh, how much I wanted to see you, kid. It's really you, my precious son. I knew I would find you again. Huh. It's been so damn long. It's been so long. Thank God you're here. I knew you'd come here. Brought you guys. Thank you, son. Thank you. This part for you, Mom. I missed you. Me too. Me too. Every day, my love. Just my heart never stopped waiting. Mm. I just knew it. I knew it. You would come. This is so wonderful. How are you feeling? God performed a miracle on us. I just knew I would find you again. <laughs> so this is a surprise for you. Javier contacted us. He never gave up. This is what we do. We bring people together, families together, through God's will. Because he's giving us the opportunity, you know, to bring these miracles to reality. And he hasn't given up. He has been looking for you. Since you were torn apart, he hasn't given up. So something that I found really interesting is that photograph that you both carry. Well, they're quite different. Can we look at them? <laughs> you still got your photographs. Look at them. That's amazing. <laughs> you look the same. <laughs> oh my god. Is it okay if we... Um, well, we help your mom get, <laughs> buying all of the her merchandise. So... I think it's time for her to abandon this bridge now. <laughs> Let's go. You know your son is here to take you. No, no, you're kidding. Yeah, he's taking you with him. And this is where you realize that probably the real dream is not the American dream, but the love between a mother and his son. Congratulations to you both. I'll see you soon to continue listening to this beautiful story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both. God bless you.